Whether you're a swinging single who's just turned 35 or one half of a newly wedded couple, getting a BTO flat is practically a rite of passage for Singaporeans. And like most grown-up things, it involves money, paperwork and a lot of waiting. Yep, it can be quite a tedious and complicated process. So to make things simpler for you, here's a money smart guide to applying for build to order HDB flats in Singapore. First things first, you better make sure you're eligible to apply for one in the first place. Generally, you need to be at least 21 years old and a Singaporean or a permanent resident applying with another Singaporean. Under the various schemes, you can apply as an engaged couple, a family or an orphan. But perhaps the most, most important thing is to make sure that you and your family fall under the respective income ceilings of your desired flat. Needless to say, you must also not own any other properties at the moment. If you do, you need to get rid of it within 30 months of your application. Now you can take things to step two. Look around for a flat you want and ballot for it online. You'll have to wait about one to two months to be notified whether you're successful or not. How many chances you get depends on a few things. Now basically your chances are doubled if you're a first timer. Most first timers get two chances, unless under the married child priority scheme. For that, you can get up to six chances if you're married and applying to live with your parents. What's next? Step three. While waiting to choose your new home, you'll need to get ready your HDB loan eligibility letter, also known as the HLE. Or if you're taking a bank loan, then it's your approval in principal letter. These documents certify that you're eligible for a loan declaring the approved loan amount. Once your ballot is successful, you'll be invited by HDB to choose your flat, which is next. Step four is flat selection. Now it's time to chop the unit you've been eyeing all this while. During this appointment, you'll be required to pay the option to purchase fee, which will be 500, 1,000 or $2,000 depending on your flat type. You will also apply for your CPF housing grants at this point. So make sure you download the relevant application forms online and don't forget to bring them along for your flat booking appointment. Next, it's time to sign the lease agreement. Signing will confirm your flat purchase and you'll be required to pay the down payment, stamp duties as well as the legal fees. All that's left is to wait for your home to be built so you can collect your keys and move in. Your key collection appointment will be your final one, so don't mess this up. Make sure you bring along all the required documents and you can refer to the checklist we've created here. Now, if you're Gan Cheong and want to visit your new home on the same day, be sure to schedule your appointment in the morning so you can get there before dark because you'll have no electricity and it'll be hard to look around. You can also set up your SP account beforehand so you can check your water supply, power points, all at the same time. And that's it! All set to apply for the upcoming BTO with your loved ones? Well, good luck and all the best! For more tips, tricks and guides on mortgages or buying a new home in Singapore, check out the Money Smart blog where we cover everything about being smart with your money.